This is a super short video on how to install the Super Perf Radiant Barrier directly over your attic insulation in cold or mixed climates. If you want to see the longer, more detailed video, click on the link below or at the end of this video. The Super Perf product has larger holes than the original attic foil, and it will easily allow moisture to pass through while still reflecting over 97% of radiant heat. It also acts as a good air barrier which will reduce the cold air from falling through the attic insulation, which reduces its effective R value. When it comes to installing the Super Perf Radiant Barrier, really all you have to focus on are these three things. First, cover as much area as you possibly can. Radiant Barrier has a cumulative effect, so the more coverage, the better. If you miss a few small areas, it's okay. Just keep going. Second, when you overlap the seams, just overlap them a couple of inches. Use a piece of foil air conditioning tape to tack them together, and do this about every five feet or so. Third, you want to gently lay the radiant barrier on top of the attic insulation. You don't want to staple it down and you don't want to mash it down. Ideally, you leave a little bit of an airspace with minimal contact between the attic foil and the attic insulation. Here's a little trick. Use a broom handle or a piece of PVC pipe and tape a nail on the end. This makes a tool that you can stab the attic foil and then push it back all the way into the eaves. This is like having a 10-foot arm. You can also stab the foil and move it around or reposition it to line it up. You can also use the other end to tack down the little pieces of tape on the seams. We're the only manufacturer who makes a radiant barrier with larger perforations specifically designed for colder mixed climates. If you have any questions, give us a call or send us an email. We offer real customer service. If you'd like to get a free sample of the Super Perf Radiant Barrier, visit the website atticfoil.com. If you want to see the longer installation video with more tips and tricks and some of the tools you're going to need, click on the link below. Thanks for watching.